Oh, hi. Hello there. Didn't think we had guests tonight. Oh, well, while you're here, I got something to show you. <sighs> it's a brown box! Yeah! So, this time I remembered to, uh... It, big box, big box. This time I remembered to record before I got excited and opened it. If you see my wardrobe change by the commentary section and the conclusion, it's because damn near the middle of the night right now. <laughs> uh, it's been a hectic week, real busy at work, so this is the best time I could do it. And I was really excited and I didn't want to wait till later to open this. Like imagine like you got a new thing and you have to stare at it, sit in a box and you can't open it until it's time for whatever that is. I've been thinking about this one for a while. It's been bouncing back and forth in my mind. And since it's on a good price point on the lower end and it's lipo ready, <laughs> I figured why not let's pull the trigger on this thing. So let's get into it. Let's get this thing opened up. As always, we got the finger drip. No paper? Evic, what the hell? I guess the dimensions kind of fit perfectly. Oh, it's on the other side. The paper's on the other side. Alright, cats. Come play. I like it. Very minimalistic box. Foam! Hell yeah! Wow, oh wow. Eh, who cares about the manual? Now, I have seen this on YouTube before. But in person, it looks so much better. And usually people get the flat dark earth version. I got the black just for that sleek PMC look. So this is... Oh yeah, it's one ugly ass flash hider but that's gonna come off after this video. That receiver is metal, which is freaking epic. <clears throat> but we have to put the charging handle assembly together before we can take, wow this is, oh yeah, it's that fresh airsoft gun smell. <laughs> There's no way it's supposed to be that tight, what the hell? Come red, something is wrong with magazine. This is where some off-screen magic's gonna happen. Okay, so, I had to put the charging handle together. We got the high cap magazine, which is a really cool design. I wish they would make mid caps, like Matrix would make mid caps in this style. But high cap magazine, hell yeah. And dexterous charging handle. For the price, I'm very impressed with the build quality. Uh, it's got the version 3 gearbox with matrix, matrix internals or whatever. Uh, when I do a deep dive and a review on the gun after it's held up a couple months, I'll get into the internals more. But the other thing that sucks about the ambidextrous charging handle is there really isn't a comfortable way to lay it down. You have to like almost like, <laughs> like that. There we go. I don't know what the hell was going on. But yeah, it's so cool because the whole lower receiver is metal. The hand grip is polymer, but it's a nice thick grip. Buffer tube metal. Really doesn't have any creak to it. To it. A little bit in the stock, but the rails is where it counts. No creak. Nice little classic style, M4 style stock, which is fun. Charging handle, all metal, you know, selector switch. Really freaking cool. Yeah, very, very solid build. Now I kind of want to see how the other AK bags fare. So I got two... Oh, this one has BBs in it. Hold on. Okay, so I got two AK mags. Like your traditional style AK mag, that one's all metal. All metal AK mag, and then I have the polymer AK mag. Both mid cap. Love a mid cap in this style. All right, let's uh, let's just be gentle with it. We'll start with the polymer 
mid cap first. All right. It seems to be seated perfectly. Wow, that's a slick look. That's a real Russian PMC style look right there. That's pretty badass. And for the metal one. Oh yeah, that one clicked in even nicer. Fit like a goddamn glove. Hell yes. But yeah, uh, they wired it traditionally, how you wire an AK. I would prefer to rear wire though, then you would have more battery options, however, because if you put it in the in the stock for the wiring, you would have had, you could run, you know, nunchuck, stick, whatever. But this works pretty well how it is. This LiPo, which doesn't fit on my other AK, so I'm curious to see. Yeah, so this battery is still too much of a chonker. Holy shit, hold on. That's how you sit the gun down. So, if you get this gun, which I highly recommend just by looking at the build quality, we'll see when we get to the actual, how it held in, the meat and potatoes of the build, but the gun sits just like that, which is dope, because I was a little worried with laying it down with the ambidextrous charging handles, like at the field, but this can be displayed on a table just like that, or if you're at the field and you're using a different gun, you could just set it on your, your group's table just like that. And that's pretty badass. We're back! And it's daytime! And my outfit hasn't changed. Don't make fun of me. Alright, I'm a clean boy. I didn't do nothing last night. Stinky. Okay. Tom Jolly. Here is the final product I went with for this build. And it is crispy. Holy crap. Holy, holy moly. So this is the uh, fucking Matrix Tactical AK. When you go to buy this gun, it says Matrix Tactical AK, but uh, it ships in the Avengers Airsoft uh, branding. I don't know how Airsoft branding works. I, I, I don't know if like when they say Matrix Tactical, they just mean internals and like everything on the external is made by Avengers, which would make sense. It's a very, very solid build for the price. Like I have friends who have expensive airsoft guns that I've used and this feels like a $300 AK. I don't know how it performs yet because uh, I haven't tested it. So let's do, a, let's do a little little battery test right now with 11 11.1 11 LiPo. So like all airsoft AKs, battery goes in the dust cover moment of truth <laughs> the battery just died 9.6 nunchucks oh full I forgot full auto is the that is that is way better than I thought that that fire rate hell yeah let's put it in semi Trigger locked up. Yeah, okay, I can see where it's shortcomings. Full auto, it's got a nice fire rate, but in semi, it seems like that the trigger locked up after spamming it. Hmm. <laughs> My other AK is ironically better. There's also a stronger spring in here, so that might be a factor. I'm going to, first off, check to see if it has a quick change spring, and then I'm going to swap the spring out, and then we'll do a semi-automatic test, because it could just be the spring is too tough for the voltage. One thing I wouldn't do is use the charging handle a lot. Like, honestly, only ever touch the charging handle to access the hop-up, which has got the slider-style hop-up on there because the the wiring goes underneath this ambidextrous charging handle design and it's rubbing up against the covering kind of like exposing the wiring so don't, don't play with the charging handle i guess my biggest complaint surprisingly is the fact that the it's an ambidextrous charging handle which normally isn't a complaint but for how they did it it's just why why can't you just make it regular it's a cool ak and it didn't need the ambidextrous part it is amazing as is it's got the quick change spring and what's nice is you don't gotta take the stock off you don't gotta do anything you just take the uh just take the little pistol grip off and then you take the selector switch off and then you can just boop fucking badass nice and easy it's a very very easy gun to work on 
when you know what you're doing. <laughs> if you don't look up a tutorial, uh, I don't see a tutorial for this specific gun on a breakdown, so I might do a breakdown video when I can get like a camera angle that's close up zoom on the gun so you can see what's going on, you know, with my tools and everything. But I'll be right back with the new spring. New spring. Oh, that is way can definitely shoot it a lot faster before it locks up. It could also be that this battery is dying, and I'm sure with an 11.1, it won't have as much of a trigger delay. I'm going to charge my 11.1, and we'll see how it works with the 11.1. 11 11.1 11 LiPo. No trigger lockup. Hell yeah. Okay, 11-1 LiPo, freaking slayed. So, the Matrix Tactical AK Special Edition, which I forgot to mention, it's a special edition. Very solid build quality. Uh, don't buy the 480 FPS version if you don't want to change a spring. Or if you're not confident enough to change the spring, just buy the 350 for CQB. If you're in an outdoor field, get the 480. Don't matter. 40, 410, 4, 400 FPS? I don't know. Dust cover. Hop up. Standard AK slider hop up. Uh, if you're going to take the orange flash hider off, you better have a fucking vice grip and the proper tools because I did not and I had to go out and buy a vice grip and thank God I did because that really helped out a lot. Got your cool M4 stock. Nice. The only part on the gun that's wobbly is the stock area. And I went to look uh, behind the castle nut if you have an actual, like, uh, castle nut wrench, you know, an AR wrench, you should be able to take the stock off perfectly fine. But if you don't, you can't do it the standard M4 way because it's not a screw that holds it in there in the back. Just something to keep in mind. Cons of the gun, the flash hider is hard to get off, and I'm not the biggest fan of the ambidextrous charging handle, but it is a slick looking AK. And I put these uh, rail guards on it because one, I'm out of four grips. Don't have any more four grips, but these rail guards remind me of the mw3 ak not not today's mw3 the og mw3 that ak-47 had the the little handguard grips on it it just it looks like it's straight out of the game from my pov yeah it's really it's a really cool gun i think that's about all i got to say about this gun it's a cool fucking gun so i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the ak i do have something special coming up as well and it's kind of goofy how it came about so you know, like and subscribe. Stick around. See you guys later.